In March 2009, Sir Rearsby Sitwell of Renishaw Hall passed away. As a tribute, the Sitwell family made a generous donation for restoration work to be completed at St Peter and St Paul's Church in Eckington, where Sir Rearsby was patron. You may be aware the Sitwell family are joint patrons with the Crown uh, for the church. You know, what that means in practice is that um, each rector or uh, vicar, whatever you want to call it, of, of the church, the incumbent is the, is the correct term, is um, appointed by the patron. And in our case, unusually, we have, a, we have the patronage is shared between the Crown, which is the Queen, and the Sitwell family. The previous rector, Norman Harvey, who a lot of people of Eckington will, will have known and loved, uh, who was with us for almost 20 years, was um, a Sitwell appointment. Norman retired in late 2008. Early 2009, in fact at the end of March 2009, Sir Rearsby Sitwell, a patron, uh, died. We, uh, as being the church that uh, he patronised, um, held the funeral here, which was a big occasion. We had to um, put up a marquee at the west end of the church to accommodate the, uh, all the, the people arriving. Sir Easby was well loved in the community and so um, whilst the church was packed with a lot of his um, London friends, in fact there were an awful lot of local people around and about on that day um, paying their respects to Sir Easby. He had of course um, been at the hall since the 60s um, and he during that time and restored the gardens, restored the house um, and in fact started the vineyard as I'm sure an awful lot of local people know. So um, he was a popular guy in the area and um, Lady Penelope Sitwell um, came down on a number of occasions to look at the church to see where things were going to happen and so forth and she noticed that on some of the pillars around the church there were various plaques they are plaques saying that this pillar has been restored by a member of the Sitwell family in memory of a previous Sitwell. So she looked at this and she said, I'd like to do something like this for Sir Rearsby. Um, what project could we, could we look at? One of the projects that we had been um, thinking about doing is the uh, restoration or the, the, the conservation of the west Norman West doorway uh, to the tower. So we looked at this and talked about this and she agreed that she would like to do this restoration. The people of Eckington might think, oh, what's wrong with the west door? It, it, it's quite badly worn, the stonework, or the stonework was quite badly worn, but it's, it's not falling down, but it is a um, a special piece of, of masonry, if you like, in that it's, it's very old, it's Norman, and, um, and it is, or was, badly weathered. There were one or two parts of it that required replacement because they were falling away. So some, some replacement work was done, but the majority of the work is conservation. And if you look now at that doorway and compare it to um, photographs of, of what it was like prior, you can see a difference. You can't see a massive difference, but the main thing you, that will happen is that this work will probably preserve this uh, doorway for at least another century and possibly longer. Because of the age of this building, any work that we have done has to be approved uh, by both the diocese and because we're Grade 1 listed, English Heritage. And in fact, because it's a, an ancient building, the Society for the Preservation of Ancient Buildings usually get involved as well. And all three did in this process because of the, um, the doorway being uh, a typical Norman doorway, then it had to be preserved in the right way. I think in Victorian times, some work to restore that west door had been carried out and cement was used and in fact this was causing a problem with the stonework and this work had to be corrected and was part of the project that was um, agreed eventually and so the process took some some 12 months or more to uh, to complete as, as the hall itself is, is, is a fairly old building and there's lots of older buildings within the Sitwell estate they employ their own uh, stonemason. He is a local man 
lives in Troy, and his name is Chris Ward, and he's an excellent mason. His work, though, because it's not normally done, he does not normally work on this church, had to be checked out by the architect, by English Heritage. And I'm glad to say that uh, he did uh, some work, especially for those people at the hall, to show the standard of his work, and they were very happy with his work. And I've got to say, having seen the work that he's done, I am truly happy as well, and I'm sure the people of Eckington will appreciate the work that has conserved this doorway for probably the next century. My father very sadly died three years ago, and I inherited from him. And in his memory, we've had the west door of the parish church restored. And I have to say, by Chris Ward, it looks absolutely amazing, really beautifully done. And what I'm very keen to do is now put up a plaque in the church in memory of my father, along with all the other family tombs. So that's very exciting. And uh, particularly as, as a family, we've been here for many, many generations, really, for, since 1300. And I first came here when I was seven years old, when my father inherited from his uncle, Sir Osbert Sitwell, and that was in 1965. So I've, I've really known Rennie Shaw and I've known Eckington for a long, long time. So here we are, spring 2012, three years since Sir Rearsby died, and the work is finally completed, and what a good job it is. And we're very, very grateful to the Sitwell family for that. But the final piece of the jigsaw is to actually put this brass plaque up, which Penelope uh, Sitwell, Lady Penelope, saw in our church for, to previous Sitwells. We need, of course, to put one up to Sir Rearsby. And I'm talking at the moment with Alexander about how we should do that. Uh, but again, we need permission to get this done. So it's not, again, it's not going to be a quick process, but it will be done. And, and for centuries, people will see the work that was done in memory of Sir Riesby.